Hello everyone, welcome back aboard Submarine Bakuna here at Independence Seaport Museum in Philadelphia. Today, we're going to be taking a look at where Bakuna's crew took their meals. I hope you're hungry because this video is all about the galley and crew's mess. The galley and crew mess are located amidship between the control room and the after battery. The galley is the ship's kitchen, and the mess is where the crew would actually sit and eat. Serving a full crew of 80 was no easy task. Bakuna would have had three cooks aboard, one for each watch and it was their job to ensure that the rest of the crew were well fed. There are four meals served throughout the day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and midnight rations, or mid-rats. Mid-rats is a late evening meal served for overnight watchstanders and usually consists of leftovers from lunch or dinner. It allows everyone aboard to eat three times a day, even if their watch doesn't line up with one of the more traditional meals. Bakuna's mess has four tables. Each table could sit six sailors at a time meaning her cooks could serve 24 men in one go. With a full crew of 70 needing to eat, this still meant that her sailors only had about 10 minutes or so to eat their food and move on to make space for the next group to come in. Despite the hectic nature of mess call, one of the perks of serving on submarines was that you received better food compared to those sailors in the surface fleet. This was one of the incentives to serve in submarines in the first place, since subservice was, is, and likely always will be voluntary. But the question then becomes, with such space limitations as there are aboard a submarine, where do you store the food, especially when you need enough for a 60-day patrol? Below the mess deck are refrigeration and freezer spaces. These allowed for some storage of perishable goods, but still not enough for a full two-month patrol. The mess benches were also used for storage, as were the cabinets found around the galley. But the real answer is food was stored everywhere. You could find sacks of potatoes in the showers, the crew would line the deck with cans, and even loaves of bread might be stored above the piping in the overhead. Basically, anywhere food fit, food was stored, because space on a submarine did not go to waste. Well, that concludes this tour of the galley and cruise mess. If you enjoyed this video, like it and share it, then head down to the comment section below and leave us suggestions on topics you'd like to see us cover in future videos. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.